So I guess it's time we talk about money. Why is it you have no money or you're broke? Well, first off, it's probably because you didn't learn from somebody you had money or the person that you did learn from didn't teach you correctly and didn't put in enough effort with you, didn't give you enough lessons, didn't make you take enough chances, gamble with enough risk. Because money, getting money is a risk. Risk is a reward and is proportionate to each other. Risk and reward go hand in hand. Now, I'm going to tell you what most people don't realize. Credit is king. Credit is king now. Credit is the most important thing when it comes to your income ever. Credit says what kind of car you drive, what kind of house you have, what kind of things you can do on vacation, what kind of, if you're in first class or if you're not, um, your credit tells what kind of life you live. And your credit is backed upon your financial statement for business people or your credit score for average people. Those two things matter. Your credit score and your financial statement matter. If you're somebody who invests in real estate or businesses, you'd be more prone to be using um, financial statement versus your credit score. But either way, they both are beneficial in their own sense. Debt is money. Debt. So if I buy a bike from you and the bike is $5, I'm in debt to you $5. That debt that's owed is money. Since 1971, debt has been backed by money. It used to be backed by silver, then it was backed by gold, now it is backed by debt. Debt and credit are very similar. Debt is money that is literally created out of nowhere, out of thin air. And it's being put on top of credit that's being charged at an interest for more credit and it's a never ending cycle the federal reserve which was established in 1913 has created the biggest money creating and manipulating system that's ever been devised it basically creates money loans the money out for interest and then destroys the money I mean it creates money and it destroys money based on how much money they need for the supply in the economy but they're the ones who decide how much they need or if the economy needs to go up or down so they print more or they print less but they are the leaders of the world they own the world it's a privately funded institution not a governmental entity owned by any global government people that own the federal reserve are the same people who coincidentally print the money at all the centralized banking systems throughout the entire world so those same people are the same people that own the world and hear me out it might sound conspiracy like but it's not do your homework and check into this look up um 
J.P. Morgan's Jekyll Island estate and research the meeting that took place there and wonder why if the Federal Reserve is such a fair place or, you know, a decent place, then why was its details about its creation kept in secrecy for weeks on end and was only given privilege to select elite members? To get money in this world, you got to rob somebody or you got to be a highly skilled individual. Now, a highly skilled individual develops some type of skill or craft that usually takes 10 to 15 to 20,000 hours to master. And then once that person becomes a master, like a doctor or a lawyer or an author or something along those lines, that person can go on and create lots and lots of money, but it took that person so many years of putting in their work and doing their parts to get there. A bunch of compound choices to get a significant result. You're going to have to work more than you've been working. A 9 to 5 is not going to give you a, a good lifestyle. A 9 to 5 is going to make you barely over broke. B-O-B. Barely over broke. You will never have enough if you just work a 9 to 5. Unless you're making $50 or $100 an hour. Otherwise there's no way. A 9 to 5 is simply a failure. If you are really trying to get what you need in this world, you're going to be working 12 to 18 hours a day, usually seven days a week. Most people don't take, the real, the real wealthy don't take breaks. They don't take breaks during the day and they don't take breaks to go on vacation. They make sure they do what needs to be done and that's what you need to do if you are valuing money in a certain stance or you would like to have more money and you want to own up to what you deserve you know because our birthright for every individual out here is that we become wealthy healthy and happy in our lifetimes most people will never be any of those it's a damn shame but it's because of the manipulated system set up by those people in the Federal Reserve and the Rockefeller family primarily who have manipulated every aspect of um, our global freedom. They've created the money. They've manipulated our healthcare systems. They've created the education system. They control it all. They say why you go to school and what you learn. They say where you're going to work. And then most likely they say when you're going to die because they're taking care of your health care. It doesn't seem fair and it doesn't seem right. And you think that the people would act out and revolt against this, but they don't. They want to be broke and they want to stay at home and... and complain about their bills but they don't want to complain about the problem or go solve the problem the problem is these rich motherfuckers have too much money and they need a reality fucking check everyone needs to do their part you need to tell your grandkids influence them stock up on guns stock up on weapons don't fight each other no more there's no reason to fight each other if you want to fight somebody go after the motherfucking billionaires because the billionaires don't give a shit if you're dead or not they just look at you as a body on an assembly line and that's it and that's not the way to get rich and be happy you know you gotta if you really want to be rich and want to honor that that wealth you got to earn it the right way and you got to do it for yourself you can't do it for anybody else you got to pay yourself first. Most people out here, the reason they're fucked up in life is because they don't pay themselves first. The first person you got to pay when you get any money that comes in is yourself, maybe 10%, 5%, and then you pay your bills and then you pay everybody else. 
But make sure you pay yourself first because you're the one that matters. You're working for you, not nobody else. Remember that. Educate yourself. Take seminars. Read books. Do above and beyond to get above and extra. You're going to get mediocre if you act mediocre, if you work mediocre, if you study mediocre. Rise above, rise above. The president is not going to help you become financially free or stable. Most people don't even have $600 in their savings account. Most people can't make it two months without um, getting income in or they'll face a financial um, hardship to where they'd be nearly homeless or without food. Don't be like them. Find out who's making the money and ask them how they got it. Pay them for their advice. It's that simple. You want to know how you're the sixth millionaire in the room? You hang out with five millionaires. The first five of them are, are millionaires. So to be the sixth millionaire, you surround yourself with five. It's that easy. Now, I know there's some barriers and there has to be some lines across to get to that point in your life. But it is possible. 1,700 millionaires in the United States every single day are created. There's over a million millionaires. You can be a millionaire. You can have this money. Fuck whatever you've been told with your limitations. You're not worth 50000 or 20000 or 70000 or 100000 You're worth multi-millions every fucking year. Sell something, sell something, make money, and do what your birthright is put you on this planet to do. That's earn a lot of money, have a lot of fun, and enjoy your fucking life. La da da. Never be broke again. If you play this, repeat this, and act on this. It's that real shit. I'd say God bless, but I think God only blesses them fake dollars in circulation. <laughs>